Welcome to another video tutorial. Today we are going to paint British Royal Air Force roundels. Roundel is a circular identification mark painted on aircraft to identify them to other aircraft and ground forces. In one form or other, it has been used on British military aircraft from 1915 to the present. You could, of course, ask why you should paint the roundels when there are water slice decals included kit. Well, the main advantage of the head spray marking is that paint layer is much thinner than decals and there are no varnish around the edges. Another great thing is that you could choose any color shades you want. Now let's get to work. Ordinary Tamiya masking tape is a nice, but it's a good to have something bigger. Luckily, Tamiya makes a large A4 size stencil sheet for this exact purpose. There are two types of this paper. One is a blank yellow sheet and the second has a millimeter grid. Great tool for cutting circles is a cutting compass. You can easily change diameter of a circle, so it's suitable for all basic circular stencils. If you do not have a compass, you can use simple roller with a circle template and cut out the stencil with a sharp utility knife. Anyway, I definitely recommend it using a cutting compass. I measure the diameter of the circular decal with a ruler and set this value on the compass. Millimeter paper helps me find the center, so I easily turn the compass and cut out the such a beautiful circle. Very important is to correctly measure the diameter. Otherwise, the stencil will not have the same size as the decals. Now I measure the inner circle and cut it out again. I continue in the same manner with all other roundless. Blank paper is a partly transparent, so you can use decals as a template. I can simply put it on decal and cut it out. I also try to cut out numbers and letters, but because they have very thin white border, I gave it up. Now, when I have all stencils prepared, I can stick them on the model. This is a crucial moment, because you must put them into the correct position. When you use common water slice decals, you can simply move them a little. But you cannot obviously do it when there are paint sprayed, so choosing precise position is very important. Then you have to smooth the edges, so the paint will not get under the mask. Since I have a two color camouflage, it's necessary to dump in the transition with white color. White color is also suitable as a foundation for all other colors. I start with spraying the roundel. I always start from lightest to darkest shade, in this case it is red. I let it dry for 10 minutes. The side roundel is a bit more complicated. I covered the white circle with a prepared stencil. Again, it is necessary to ensure the correct orientation relative to the center.
I used previously cut out circle as a template. I wanted to paint the red center when I realized that I still have to paint the yellow rim. Yellow color is usually very bad for coating and it would have a problems to spray it over red base color. It is better to spray it on white base. Another good tip is using Humbrol Muscle Field over stencil edges, because paint can pour through even a thinnest gap. Great, I have it! I paint the red dot when muscle is dried. The main roundel on the wing consists of two parts, so I put the last piece of a puzzle. I smooth it again with a cotton swab. Now I finish all roundels with a blue color. Another advantage of painting roundels is that you can make easy post shading. Now I only remove the stencils and it is done. Many times I have seen the someone remove the underneath paint too. Why this happens? Simply because they poorly degrease the model surface before spraying. Therefore I always wash the model in soapy water first. In addition you should stick the stencil after you spray the model with glossy varnish, which also helps to prevent paint peeling. I think the result is quite good. There is a difference between the color of water slice decals and my paint color. Blue on the decals is almost black and red is too much pronounced. So I'm much happier with my lighter shades. And that is all, thanks for watching. Thank you.